it is time to install the fresh water tank over here we bought a 120 gallon fresh water tank from directly from the manufacturer in California called Ronco Plastics They're very very good quality thick walls um, and it's gonna go over here uh, and first thing I did was I put this stud in the in the subfloor and the framing there um, to prevent the tank from sliding I did it I, I measured the length of the tank tank and added one eighth of an inch um, because I'm gonna put some shower liner under the tank in case there are leaks um, and you know that's gonna take into account the thickness of the shower pan liner um, and prevent it from sliding it goes directly into the subfloor and then into the stud in the framing in the subfloor uh, below the subfloor so that's 43 inches length and one eighth and it's gonna come up to over here and over here we have the gravity fill return from the shower and air vent slash overflow that's all gonna go down into the tank here and um, I've taken the the water tank inside the bus and I put it on top of this OT shower pan liner 40 mil PVC and I'm putting that under the tank to make sure if there's a leak it doesn't get on the wood and I put it in the center and I'm gonna kind of make like a like a pan out of it you know like that lift it up and install it that way so I'm putting a ratchet strap horizontally around the um, tank to help me hold up so I can, uh, the pan liner so I can fold it okay so now we can come in here and tuck this in like this because that's all closed off so the water is not going to get out everything is on the top here it is so this is tucked in all the way there fold it up like this The water tank is can't fit it's hitting this edge right here uh, so I'm gonna cut that off with my oscillating tool I realized I forgot to put the um, shower pan liner on the wall like shingles um, so it uh, the water flows in um, inside this instead of outside and on the floor so I have to do that now finally I finally managed to fit it in. I actually had to cut this off here so I can take it out and do the uh, shower pen liner on the wall. Um, I couldn't get the tank out enough. Okay, now I can take this off. Here's how the shower pen liner looks like. So this piece goes under the tank. So this top piece overlaps it like shingles and then this piece also overlaps that one so when the water if there is a leak the water is just gonna go over over and get in here and then I'm gonna work on putting a drain right here under the bus and I'll put a hepfo valve hanging down under the bus and that hepfo valve will open if this fills up with water I'm also gonna put a water alarm sensor here so it the alarm turns on if it detects water so if all of this water from the whole system leaks anywhere, it should, at least most of it, fall in here and drain out the bottom of the bus and trigger the alarm. 
I've lifted the tank so I have room to install these fittings. I got a half inch 90 degree elbow uh, brass with the male MPT uh, threads. So that's gonna go this way to the to the right. And uh, I'm gonna put PTFE tape. And when I look at the hole, it's gotta go clockwise. Yes. I'm gonna add it on the other as well so because it's easier clockwise it's easier to do it now than doing it after I install it now I'm going to get this great white pipe joint compound with PTFE and I'm gonna install that put that also clockwise threading it's looking good Next one is this T with all females, one half inch brass. That's gonna go sit like this. So I'm gonna go and put some of this PTFE um, pipe joint compound. Here I have a hose bib valve. This will allow us to drain the tank if we ever need to. Okay, I got it all installed there. And now I'm doing this apex over here what I want to do now is I want to put a valve here so I can shut the water off because after the valve I want to put a hookup for an air hose for a compressor so we can use that hookup to purge all the water through the system when we are uh, winterizing the bus. If I don't put the valve, then the air is gonna go back into the uh, fresh water tank. Over here, I have a reducer, one half inch 
male to one quarter inch female. That's for the to be able to hook up the air connector, uh, air air uh, fitting for compressor. So that's gonna go like this. I have a half inch male threaded nipple that's gonna go on the top. That's where the hose that goes that's part of the silencing kit for the pump goes from here to the pump. And this is a quarter inch air hose male plug and this is a quarter inch ball valve it's gonna prevent the water from coming out when I don't want it so I have to connect them and go that goes into here and now I'm connecting that to my water supply I'm gonna actually install it facing towards the tank instead of this way in case this ever leaks here or gets opened it's gonna be leaking over the tank and then get drained down under the bus through my drain on the floor. If I put it this way, it's gonna shoot out this way in the, on the wood. And now the final step is hooking up the hose for the, um, that goes into the water pump. This is part of the silencing kit. Um, I'm going to loop this hose. The instructions say to loop um, only the output, but I don't think looping the input is gonna hurt anything. So I'm gonna do that and I don't need to put any ta Teflon tape on it because this has a O-ring inside that should seal it. We don't even need... Okay. Outside, out of the tank, it goes here to a T. This is to drain it with a hose bib if we need to drain the tank ever. Then it goes up here. This is to prevent to prevent the air coming down into the tank when we are winterizing it. There is the connector for the air hose, air compressor. So this is normally shut off like this, and then once we connect the air, we can open it up, and it'll push the all the water through the system. Uh, through the we'll open a faucet or something like that. There we go. That's the overview. So over here to hook up the. Uh, air compressor uh, basically we have a one half inch T with female threads and then it has a reducer from reducer brass has a one half male on one on uh, one end and a quarter female on the other and then this is a quarter uh, inch bolt bolt uh, valve and then it has the the little fitting for the air hose at the end okay this is what I've done I haven't recorded it but I got some 2x4s and I um, I screwed them and glued them there. This is pushing the tank, has a tank bows on the side. Um, and these th big things, they require supports. Because if you don't put a support, they're just balloon a little bit. So I did, I put these two cross pieces against the door there to push the tank inwards and uh, that way it keeps it straight until the glue I, and I put the screws in until the glue um, cures. I've added a few more pieces of framing around here so that's that's solid it's not gonna go anywhere It's not gonna bow. This is gonna keep it from bowing. Let me know what you think. Is this good enough support? This is a X15 shower pen liner adhesive. It's made for this PVC shower pen liner. And basically I'm gonna because I'm gonna fold this guy over here. I'm gonna fold it. So then I can put some shower pen liner adhesive here. You know, I can glue this whole thing over here. So 
so it's not it's not flopping. And I'll temporarily tape it so um, it stays like that. That's gonna get glued there. Over here where the, the drain is um, I, I, I glued it as well and taped it so it creates a little bowl so if there's any water that leaks it will collect there and then drain under the bus there's the drain the only thing left is to secure this to the framing so it's not flopping around so I found out that this quarter inch ball valve is not safe for potable water. It's got lead in it. But this one, that one is safe. I got it at Lowe's. So I'm gonna install that. I do need to add this quarter inch threaded nipple. So one side can be male to go into the plumbing here. There it is installed. And that one is lead free. So that's when it's open when we have the air hose hooked up one thing you can also add is a check valve right here to, so the air can only go one way so the water cannot come out this way if anybody opens this up uh, I'm not gonna do that I'm probably just gonna tie this or put something here to prevent it a lock or something I don't know to prevent it from opening from vibration or by an accident. I've also added this that's heavily screwed and glued with construction adhesives to this framing and that way it goes against the tank and I put some of the shower pan liner so the wood doesn't rub on it so this should help it make sure it doesn't tip over yeah, a bunch of screws in construction adhesive so now I'm confident it's gonna hold. This concludes um, the installation of the fresh water tank. Let me know what you guys think. Should I have done this any differently? I know some people use ratchet straps.